Oh, that was a quick one. <laughs> you were not laying in the snow. <laughs> it burns Ooh, it. It's tingly. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This weekend we're going on an adventure. We just pulled up to where we're going. Brandon's here too. Oh, hi. I found the stuff. I just need the code. Oh, awesome. Thank you. All the things. We're here. Woo! We made it. Alright, so we made it in. This is home for the night. Good. That was a bit of a walk. Not far, but... <laughs> steep hills there. It was just a little steep. Yeah. Alright, so... Nothing exciting happening tonight, but tomorrow we are gonna do some fun stuff. So we'll just fun stuff tonight. Gosh. We'll see you guys in the morning over some coffee. Good night. This is your mission. If you choose to accept it, you have to shut the generator off naked. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian. Oh my gosh, they're perfect. Ah! And hot. Can you open this? I can throw wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. <laughs> can you open this? Thank you. Mmm, I do like that one. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> of reason. <laughs> I just got a pep talk. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> and you deserved it. <laughs> there will be more to come, I'm sure. <laughs> you <come>. Closer. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. They have like zero waste stuff. We just moved, got yeah. our stuff in, didn't even have like a day to get everything settled and then we're here. <laughs> we made it happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are in this beautiful little tiny cabin on a mountain and I had heard about this company before. This company is called Cabinscape and they make these micro cabins that are situated all around Ontario and the one that we are at in particular is at Calabogie Peaks Resort. Um, it's basically two seconds from the ski hill <laughs> and uh, so that's what kind of caught my attention and I wanted to come to this place because I have not been snowboarding in years and years and Brandon's never tried it so I want to get him snowboarding. He skied before so he might 
change to skiing, but... Anyways, we wanted to come to this cabin and stay in this cozy little place and then be able to go skiing, like, within two seconds from the cabin, which is really, really cool. And I have a red squirrel looking at me through this window. Oh no, he just left. Wow, he's fat. Hey, Jeffy boy. Hey, I'm right here. <laughs> so anyways, yes, we are staying at this cabin. We are here for two nights. And we are burning daylight right now, so we should probably get going. Yes! <laughs> Karina forgot to lock the cabin, so she's going to go back and do that. I think she's going to uh, try to take the easy way back down. I think she's going to bail. I don't think she's going to make it all the way down. She's going to hit the side, 100%. Snowbank. We'll see. She's going to hit the side. There's no way she's going to make it all the way down straight. I've seen this girl drive. Good so far. Oh. You know, it might just keep her in. Oh! Oh, see? <laughs> How's that? <laughs> it's the last time you'll see me whole. You'll be fine. All right, so we are at Calaboogie Peaks Resort. And that's the ski hill. It's pretty steep, but there's, a, there's one that goes up to the top and then all the way around makes it a really nice run. Last time I was here was when I was a teenager. And uh, that's a very long time ago. So, excited to be back. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Why do you do this to me? <laughs> this is a terrible idea. You're gonna be fine. No. no. <laughs> You're doing awesome, love. Make sure you tip that that edge up on either side. <laughs> oh, that was a workout. So as I was saying earlier, this was Brandon's very first time snowboarding. I bought him a snowboard last year and uh, we never really got out to use it. So. This was his first day, and as you can tell by this run, he's really getting the hang of it. Um, just after, like, this was only after three or four runs, and so he did really, really good. I'm super proud of him. So here at Calabogie, there is a pub upstairs in the lodge called Black Donald's, and they have live music, like, all the time going on, and it's a really bopping place. So we were able to grab some drinks and some food and uh, enjoy the live music, which was really cool. All right, well, we had a great time snowboarding. Brandon learned the ropes like faster than anyone I've ever known, but of course, because it's Brandon. And so why should I be surprised? I'm not. We chilled out at the pub, had a beer, had a snack, and now I think we're gonna go find some real food around here. That was really fun. Did you have fun? I did have a lot of fun. Yeah, I think you, you picked it up faster than you thought you would. Uh, yeah, the first run was took about four hours to get down the hill on my ass. <laughs> the second one was a vast improvement and then maybe third was my best before I started to fatigue. Yeah. This one. You did great, love. I'm very proud of you. Thanks, so. love. You like picked it up like way too fast, so I'm kind of mad. I'm not gonna lie. Skis would have been a lot easier for me. I know, that's why everyone does it. Cause skiing's easy, snowboarding's not. Definitely true. Yeah. Um, Alright, we're gonna go get some grub and uh, 
see where the evening takes us. Redneck Bistro, here we go. Just stop. Bikers, sleds, top rotors, and other rednecks. So we're back at the cabin and... Um, what did you say? Stop. You're looking for a glove, I Thank you. So we hiked back up to the cabin after our ski, well, snowboard and then dinner. And, um... <laughs> now we're just chilling out. We're going to, uh, so because we're so close to the Cal Calabogie Ski Resort, um, as a cabinscape guest, you're allowed to use the hotel amenities. And so we'll be going down there to have a little hot tub. Epre ski hot tub. And grandma. <laughs> I'm a little sore today too. And then, um, yeah, we'll come back here for the night and then check out in the morning, probably go do some more snowboarding. But yeah, it's been like pretty fun so far. Really fun. We uh, hiked out here in the dark, but like once your eyes adjust, it's not too bad. Especially with the snow. The stars are beautiful. It's a cute place, for sure. Also beautiful. These tiny cabins are absolutely adorable and Cabinscape actually has a bunch of cabins all over Ontario. I would highly recommend going over to their website and booking your own Cabinscape adventure and they've actually given all of my subscribers $50 off their next adventure. And make sure you book it quick because this code expires on February the 28th at midnight. Brandon and I can't wait to do another trip with Cabinscape so we're going to look at all the cabins and see which one we want to go explore next. And if you guys happen to check out their website, please let me know down in the comments which cabin you think that Brandon and I should go visit next or even which one you're planning on going to visit on your own adventure. Okay, we're going to finish. Brandon's got a beer going. I got my coffee. We're going to finish this and then we're going to go have a hot tub. And we will see you there. <laughs> so just a short drive away and you get to Calabogie Peaks Hotel where you can find a hot tub which is pretty awesome hello how cute is this oh, oh that feels so good oh the hot tub is outside, which is amazing. Adds to the full experience, I would say. This is almost like a Nordic experience. Yeah. It's perfect. I think this is like jets or something. Oh, that was a quick one. Ah, <laughs> oh, it hurts. <laughs> I haven't suffered quite enough yet today, and I haven't humiliated myself as much as I probably could have, even though I did often. <laughs> so I feel like I deserve this enjoyment I'm about to experience. A little deeper there. You were not laying in the snow. <laughs> you are not dancing in the park. You are not dancing in the park. <gasps> wow. I feel like I need to do it again and not Woo! complain so much. <laughs> it burns, eh? That's tingly. <laughs> That's cool. Wow, that feels neat. It's crazy, eh? Oh, that wasn't too bad. I would say it wasn't quite as difficult as snowboarding for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Woo! Alright. <laughs> Alright, next one. Let's see who lays in the snow the longest. Oh, you're up in the stakes already, are you? Actually, I'm gonna let my back stop. Tingling? Feeling like yeah, I just it got takes. Stabbed by a million icicles. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, totally what it feels like. Yeah. Well, should we get going soon? I suppose we have six minutes, so yes. Yeah, we should probably get out. I feel a little dizzy. <laughs> also, I gotta pee. This one's much better lit. Good.
Some farm fresh eggs from home. The eggs are not pretty. Pretty messy, actually. But you know what? They'll still taste like eggs. Alright, cabin's all clean. Leave it the way you found it, or better. And pack out my garbage. We're all packed up and we're ready to leave the cabin. We left it in pristine condition. Pristine condition, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we got a bit of a hike out of here, so we're going to do that. And the sled's too loaded up to ride it down the hill, so sorry, though.
Yeah, we love me. So stay tuned because we are still going to go snowboarding and we've got a little bit left of this day going on. So I guess for now we just like it. So our last day snowboarding here at Calabogie Peaks was absolutely incredible. The sunshine, the snow conditions were perfect on the hill, and both of Calabogie's ski lifts were open, meaning we had tons of options for runs. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really hope that you enjoyed it and all our shenanigans. Next video, we are going on another crazy winter adventure, so make sure you stay tuned, and we'll see you then.